Okay, I'm going to show you a little bit how to navigate around Infinite Campus as a parent. Okay, it works the same for a student, but I'm just going to give you a parent perspective. So I'm at buffaloschools.org. Okay, if I go to parents, I'm going to see this option, parent portal. Okay, and if you need an account, you're going to click here. Okay, otherwise, you're going to click accept terms and conditions. And then you're going to be taken to this screen and you're going to choose campus student. If you're a student, you're going to choose this. You're going to log in with your 900 number and regular school password. But again, I'm looking from a parent perspective. So I'm going to choose um, parent. You're going to enter your username and password and click log in. Okay, I'm not going to save this. All right, once I am here in Infinite Campus, I have a menu on this side. Okay, here I would be any district announcements. Here would be calendar. Notice once I click away from the screen, I'm going to see any um, children. If I had multiple children in Buffalo Public Schools, this would be a drop down menu to move between the children. This is the um, notification bell. Here is assignment. So if I click on this, I can see, um, I can click on missing. Oh, look, this doesn't say anything that's missing, which is awesome. If I click on current term, okay, um, it's going to tell me everything. If a teacher has upcoming assignments, I can see those upcoming assignments. If I click on missing again, that's a way for me to see all of the missing assignments that my child has. I click on grades. I can navigate and scroll between all of the grades that my child has. If there is a dash, um, then that means it's the, the menu is dropped down. And then if I click on it, it would just um, shrink that above so I could scroll faster. Okay. Um, and you should be looking at term grade once progress reports. If we're doing those, once those are done, the progress report grade would be here. Okay, so this is a way to scroll between. If we are in a different quarter, you would navigate to different quarters to be able to see that information, and that's grades, okay? You can also see attendance. You will see it by class period, right? And uh, you'll be able to see total, and you will see any tardies, okay? So this is a way to get a snapshot of attendance. If I click on a specific course, I will see exactly when that absence was. Okay, so that's with attendance. Schedule. Here is the schedule. So I'm gonna see first period through eighth period at this school, what is the schedule? It's going to separate it by letter day. So if your child's schedule changes based on the letter day, going to have to scroll a while because we have A through F days. So there's schedule for A day, then B day. Okay. And that's how you're going to navigate through the schedule to see um, what your child um, is supposed to, what class your child's supposed to be in. Notice it also here has the time. Brilliant. It tells what time they're supposed to be in class. If I click on it, okay, it's going to tell me a snapshot. It's going to give me the teacher's email. It's going to tell me the um, letter day schedule. Notice this is the same no matter what letter day. I can see the grades here and I can see upcoming assignments. If I click the back button, I'm going to go back to the schedule. So if you're concerned about a specific class, schedule is a great way. Course information, you can contact the teacher. You can see what grades have been entered and you can see upcoming assignments. Now remember, we're also using Schoology, so for a lot of upcoming assignments or grades, um, confirm that information in Schoology as well, okay?